Urban Shield is a training program where emergency responders come together and respond for a 24-hour period to events that are going out throughout the entire region. Those events include police scenarios, USAR, uh, safety rescue scenarios, tactical medical scenarios, where all of the different disciplines can work together to try and deal with the situation that's represented to them. Whether it be a terrorist attack or a natural disaster, you have to train things that may be out of the ordinary because you can't wait for them to happen to be ready. Urban Shield is allowing all of our first responders to test the capabilities that they've been developing over the past several years to know where the strengths are, where the weaknesses are, and work together. And we don't want to be exchanging business cards the day of the disaster. These people actually get to know each other, they get to trust each other, they know each other's capabilities, and so when there is an event like this, they're not looked at as the other team, so to speak. One of the important things we're focusing on is looking at law enforcement, fire, and EMS as an interdependent triad where they're all critical to the successful outcome of a, of a horrific event. I think this is one of the most valuable programs that uh, we've seen put together throughout the nation. It uh, saves lives. It makes our tactile team uh, better prepared, better trained, better equipped. It brings them up to date on what type of technology is out there that can be utilized in these type of scenarios. Cisco has presented us with a number of technologies that have enhanced our ability to communicate, observe, and monitor activities throughout these various sites throughout the day. And it's critical that we have real-time picture and real-time communication to make these events in training successful. We get to identify with Cisco what are the regional gaps, and then we build those technologies into the scenario uh, where Cisco helps to solve our problems in the region. The Network Emergency Response Vehicle is a field command center that responds to any type of an event that might take out communications from public services. This truck is capable to land on site where there is no communications between those systems and establish them. So this is the engineering section of the NERV where all of the operations take place. Here we have various radio systems, 800 megahertz, UHF, VHF, low band, amateur radio. The thing that's special about this is Cisco has IPIX technology, which stands for IP Interoperability and Collaboration System, so those different agencies can communicate with each other. Very important for disaster scenes. And here we've got video surveillance monitors through which we can see what's going on. We're looking at various scenes here in the exercise. And we can also stream all of that through our digital media encoder. A commander who might be at a remote command post can see what's going on on the scene. Using the network emergency response vehicle today is a huge help for the city of Boston to better prepare for disasters that may occur. Uh, obviously the hope is that it is never used, but in the event that it is, Cisco will have this vehicle ready and available to any city or town or state that requires emergency communications. 